Hey guys, Carolina Rizzotto here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. A few weeks ago, I made this video about all of the things that you must know before visiting New York City. And one of the points that I made is that you should not waste a visit to New York and go to Starbucks because there are thousands of different coffee shops for you to choose from in the city and it's an opportunity for you to support a small business. Also, coffee is a huge part of New York City culture. What do you think keeps people going, okay? It's the caffeine. It's in the drugs. Don't do drugs, kids. After I recorded that video, many of you reached out to me asking for recommendations of my favorite coffee shops in New York City. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. In this video, we're going to be focusing on three of my favorite coffee shops in New York City, specifically in the borough of Manhattan. We can expand to other boroughs throughout time, so please be patient and bear with me. But before we get started, remember to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content about getting out of your comfort zone. Our first stop in this video, Café Patoro, or Café Patoro in Portuguese. This coffee shop we're about to visit is in the financial district right in the seaport and it might be a little bit tricky to find but if you find the lighthouse that means you're near so follow me so after you walk by this restaurant right here you're gonna turn left and we're gonna go down this street that way there are boats and this is actually a very historical area so there's some really cool ass boats over there and then over here this, this street is a little less crowded you know most tourists won't necessarily want to take this route but you will because you want to try something new today so right here, we have the first sign, Café Patoro. That is where we're going. This is a very special coffee shop here in New York City. It is Brazilian. They serve some of the best homemade local pastries and also coffee that you find in Manhattan. And it definitely feels like it's being transported back into Brazil for a little bit. We've arrived. Welcome to Café Patoro. It all started about seven, eight years ago. Uh, I just miss Ponte Queijo so much here in New York after having lived here for a few years. And I couldn't really find it anywhere. So I just started like kind of creating my own recipes and whatnot. So you lived in Brazil before? Yeah, I grew up in Brazil. So people go to Brazil, they try Ponte Queijo, then they're cursed for life because they want it outside of Brazil. And then Ala comes here and saves the day and creates <laughs> Café Patoro. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to feel welcome and loved and also eat amazing food and have great coffee, this is definitely the place to go. Thank like you it. so much. I like that summary. This here is a brigadeiro latte. Mais ou menos um mocha, mas a gente usa o brigadeiro brasileiro, claro. Os clientes adoram também, né? Eles comparam com Nutella ou não chegam a comparar? Difícil, porque a gente sempre fala que é feito com leite condensado, né? Então ele é um pouquinho mais doce. E aí uma diferença também é que a gente usa um chocolate um pouquinho mais amargo, então ele não fica tão doce também. Olha que absurdo, o brigadeiro lá. Pelo amor de Deus, né, Camila? So guys, it is time to try the Brigadeiro Latte. Brigadeiro. Brigadeiro Latte. Brigadeiro. Camila, show us yours, okay? So, this is the hot version. This is the cold version. Okay, cheers. <laughs> okay. This is really good. You can take the spoon and eat the Brigadeiro, which is the chocolate, on the side. No es possible. Ah, no. Para tudo. <laughs> wow. Gabriel brought us more brigadeiro. He brought us their brigadeiro cake. So this is a brigadeiro explosion. Okay. She's already going for it. I am. You talk. I eat. Okay. So brigadeiro cake is also another popular dish in Brazil. Popular in uh, birthday parties as well. It's a must. It's a must. Sherry, you had a bite of the brigadeiro cake. You show me food and drinks and you give me a spoon and a fork. You think I'm not gonna eat, so I'm gonna eat everything. Camilla, I don't think you're a really good assistant. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so here we have a variety of things to try today at Café Patoro. We have their Brazilian iced tea, which is typical from Rio de Janeiro, the state that me and Camila, who's filming, are from. In Rio, we typically eat with pão de queijo, which is what you see right here. In Minas Gerais and other places in Brazil, they usually have it with coffee. So we have one pão de queijo that's made out of pesto, we have one with olives, and then we also have the classic regular cheese bread. And then here we have their brigadeiro cake, 
I don't really like chocolate, but the thing that I really do love is brigadeiro. And this is their uh, cornbread cake. They have a version here with guava as well. Look at the amount of experiences we're about to have. It's very exciting. So refreshing. Comida melhor que homem, né? Vamos ser sincero. Tá. Comida tá sempre lá pra você, entende? A menina que não tá traumatizada, né? This cake is so freaking good. It is not like your regular chocolate cake, okay? I'm gonna enjoy this with Camila now. Let's go check out our next coffee shop. This coffee shop we're about to visit, I discovered in de December 2021, right before moving to New York City. At the time when I was there, I went at night for cocktails because they serve coffee and cocktails with coffee. I met one of the partners and he was so nice and the entire staff was so inviting and the drinks were so good that I kept coming back. So the place we're going today, here in the heart of the meatpacking district, is called Cobra Coffee. Cobra Coffee is a family-owned coffee roasting company founded in New York City in 1920. In 2016, the brand decided to do more than just sell their coffee citywide, but opened their first flagship store so people could have a real Cobra Coffee experience with highly trained baristas which serve both coffee beverages and cocktails at any time of the day. You know, we wanted to do something a little bit different where people could sort of come, hang out and gather, whether it's a business meeting or a first date, you know, a place where people could really feel comfortable and interact. And then on the cocktail side, we have an amazing espresso martini. People tell us it's the best espresso martini in the city, and I definitely wouldn't argue with that. Come over to Cobra Coffee. So I'm here at Cobra Coffee, literally sitting on a swing right now. <laughs> this is one of their special seats in the backside seating area of the coffee shop that's open during the day. This drink right here that we're about to try, the Chagachino, it has coffee and mushrooms. I do like mushrooms, but like on salty food, I never thought I would like it on a drink. I'm actually really surprised how all the flavors in the Chagachino balance themselves out so well with the coffee. This section of Cobra Coffee, which serves coffee drinks, is open at 7.30 a.m. And then the other section that also has the cocktail bar opens at 9.30 a.m. That means that you can come here any day of the week at 9.30 a.m. and have an espresso martini. Sometimes that's exactly what you need to start the day, you know what I mean? Okay, so Jacob here is gonna be making an espresso martini for you guys. It's called our Tiger Stripe Espresso Martini. We're gonna start with an ounce and a half of vodka. We'll use an ounce and a half of amaretto. I mean, an a, a half ounce of amaretto. I'm sorry, a half ounce of our homemade coffee liqueur. We make it on location in house. And a double shot of espresso, and then we're going to use a half ounce of vanilla syrup. Wow! Oh my goodness! Look at that creaminess. Good luck. Always have to put three. Espresso beans. Oh, that's cute. Is that like a thing you all guys always do? Yes. Oh my god, so cool. The espresso martini right here at 3 p.m. Oh, it's so good. Oh my god. It's so good. You can barely taste the alcohol, which is dangerous. Yeah, super dangerous. <laughs> like you can come here to Cobra Coffee and have a drink. With Jacob. <laughs> yes, I will be. Here. And maybe you, he'll get to make you the espresso martini if you get lucky enough. Thank you so much. I really appreciate yeah, it. No this is by far one of my favorite coffee shops in Manhattan. The people are so nice. Being served coffee or made a beverage by one of like the partners or owners of the company is a kind of experience that I haven't had anywhere else in New York City. So you can see how people are really passionate about the coffee and the business. Um, it's a really good spot to journal and um, they've got plenty of indoor and outdoor seating, which I really love. And they've got couches if you want to be comfy and then also tables if you want need to like actually buckle down and do some work. 
Uh, but it's just like really easy to vibe here because the music is always good, great lighting, good plants, good energy. The location of this coffee shop is also amazing because we're in the heart of the meatpacking district. We're right next to the Chelsea Market and also Little Island, another wonderful park here in the city. It is also a couple of blocks away. So I highly encourage you to stop by Cobra Coffee during your visit to the meatpacking district. Last but not least is 10,000 Coffee, an Australian coffee shop that opened its first location in the US here in New York City back in 2021. This is the only coffee shop featured in this video with more than one location in the city. The location we're visiting today is right by Times Square on 39th Street and Broadway. This spot has their own signature blends, so you can buy their coffee and make them at home if you want, but their specialty drinks are what make it really worth the visit. My favorite one is the Einspanner, which mixes their New York City blend with a secret signature cream. And it is so good that I actually don't mind spending $7 on it, which is really rare for any New Yorker to say. This shop has a very minimalist style, which I like, and offers a variety of drinks to try, like matcha drinks, espressos, but also this purple sweet potato latte. I wish I could have showed you guys more of 10,000 Coffee during this visit, but since I have trouble reaching their PR team, unfortunately, you only get a little bit of the sneak peek for now, but definitely go check out their coffee shop. Their staff is super friendly. The coffee experience is very unique. You can tell there's a lot of technique to it, and the Einspanner is definitely one of my favorite coffee drinks of all time. I really like trying specialty coffees though, like their local drinks because it usually shows a lot of the character that the coffee shop has and you can bring it right here to Bryant Park which is where I'm at right now on 42nd Street between 6th and 5th Avenue just a few blocks down so this is a great spot for you to enjoy your coffee. These were a few of my favorite coffee shops here in New York City in the borough of Manhattan. Let me know in the comment section below which of these coffee shops are you the most excited to try? And if you have a favorite coffee shop in New York City, let us know in the comment section below. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content about getting out of your comfort zone and different cultures. Your support means the world to me and it not only allows me to create content, but it motivates me to do it. Working as a solo content creator, I do a lot of things by myself, so reading your comments or seeing you guys share my stuff, it really gets me very excited and it makes me feel like I have a purpose behind what I'm doing. So I really appreciate everybody who engages, everyone who subscribes, everyone who shares my videos. You really make all of the difference to me. I'm Carolina Risotto and I will see you guys next week. Cheers!